Hello everyone, it's DC Vlogs here. Welcome back to another video. Um, tonight I'm going to be reviewing the um, Diamond Select Aqua figure from uh, Brent, from uh, Diamond Select Toys uh, for the Kingdom Hearts line. Uh, now, about this Aqua, it's, she is a really nice figure. Uh, I wasn't able to afford like the Player at the Kai one uh, that they came out with. And uh, I want something to scale perfectly with the rest of my figures. Um, so I chose the Diamond Select Aqua. Um, I do have the go Night Goofy that came with her, but I'm going to be doing that in a separate video. Um, if you can't tell already, I kind of modified her outfit a little bit because it was, it came in like a purplish color. So like, I kind of like blended that like dark blue in to give her that actual game look. Um, but yeah, let's get, get right into it. Um, okay. So Aqua is a really nice figure. She's hard to, she's kind of like hard to stand. So like I sit kind of super glued her to the stand that can't with a bring on sword. I couldn't figure out how to build these stands, so I just kind of kept it as it is. Um, so here we have Aqua. Here's her uh, face. It's really nice. It's kind of like poorly painted, but it's okay for my copy. Uh, like, I don't really mind it. I was thinking I was probably going to like repaint it. I'm not sure. Uh, but the detailing of the hair is really nice. They got those shades in there. Uh, then you, we have her back with the armor, her her kind of like dress and thing that she wears. Uh, she, we have her little armor piece here, which is really nice. Uh, her little uh, arm pieces, her gloves, and then we have the shoes here. Uh, and then she also comes with her famous keyblade that she starts off with as her default, which is Rainfall. Um, here's what it looks like. Uh, it's got its little keychain key and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice figure. I actually do like it a lot. Uh, she kind of can and can't hold the keyblade. Uh, I can demonstrate that once I put this down for a second. Um, I'll show you guys. Uh, her keyboard just like kind of like flops like you have to like balance it a certain way there we go so you like kind of like gotta like like turn it a certain way or have her hold it by like the guard of the key itself but overall, she's, I really do like this figure a lot. I really like what uh, Diamond Select is doing with these figures. Uh, I can't absolutely cannot wait for the Ven on, or a Terra figure that they're going to be releasing for a GameStop exclusive. I really do hope they make uh, a Ven character uh, so we can have the complete Birth by Sleep trio. I'd love to collect all the Keyblade Masters. Um... But yeah, this is just going to be a short review of Aqua, uh, if you can tell already, she's, uh, for, like, articulation-wise, uh, she has a joint at the shoulder, her head can move, a little bit side to side, up and down, etc., uh, her arms don't really move that well because, like, she's got this whole, like, thing, she's not like the bringer, or as player, it's Kai one where, uh, it's she can like bend it and whatnot. Uh, she does bend bend her legs out and forward. I uh, would demonstrate that, but I've got her glued for a reason. Uh, she she's got knee articulation. She's got ankle articulation, which is kind of sucked. I might fix that because uh, she kind of like keeps swiveling back and forth because my joints are loose. Uh, then she has her her feet, uh, and then. Yeah, so I just want to do a quick review of Aqua because we're getting close to the Bring Art Sora figure, which I'm excited to share with everyone once I uh, take care of Pete's video and along with Chip and Dale. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to share that um, I have the Aqua figure. Not many people have have this aqua figure because uh they never really released it in st um in stores i believe but i know larger than life uh carries it 
some locations do, some don't. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.